what is good you guys it's your boy gold sharpie you're gonna see highlights of our game against utsa the weirdest thing happened commentator audio was way off to what was happening in the game it didn't sound good so i just wanted to provide you guys with the highlights should have a new capture card coming in too so hopefully the graphics will be better and then right after these highlights will be the usf game so appreciate you guys as always stay locked in the game will be there soon What is good, you guys? It's your boy, Gold Sharpie. We are back with another FAU Dynasty video on College Football 25. I appreciate every single one of you for being here. In the last video, we went on the road and took on UTSA, the Roadrunners. We got the win 24 to 17. It was a dogfight, y'all. We had to come through. We had to dig deep, find a way to win, and we got the job done. So that gets us to 6-1 and one on the season, 3-0 and oh in the American Conference. Today, we're going to be taking on USF, but before that, we are on a bye. So let's check out what happened across the country. The LaMarcus Briscoe is a Florida Atlantic Owl. Let's go around the country real quick. So we have our first rendition of the college football playoff ranking. So Michigan's 1, Ohio State 2, Oklahoma 3, Oregon 4. So they were ranked, I think. 10th in the polls last week oklahoma state five miami six bama seven florida eight georgia nine kansas state 10 lsu 11 and nc state 12 so yeah oregon seventh in the polls but fourth in the rankings lsu lost to a and m so they fell 12 spots missouri lost to bama Ole Miss lost to Oklahoma, and Wisconsin lost to Penn State. Players of the week, Jamori Macklin of Kentucky and Byron Threats of UCF. Eisman watch. So Jalen Milrow has overtaken Dylan Gabriel for the top spot. Dylan slides to two, Jalen Daniels three, Hank Backmeyer four, and Haynes King of Georgia Tech five. Old projection. So right now, as it stands today, we're projected to play in the Frisco Bowl against Old Dominion. And a quick snapshot. If the season were to end today, Oklahoma State's to two, and it's kind of cool. You can see where they're ranked in the actual polls, so you can kind of get a difference of where the committee is. And look at Georgia, bro. Georgia's five and two, and they're the four seed. How does that make sense? Oh, we did an update on this. We're just gonna have to deal with it, but interesting nonetheless. Last thing is the USF roster. So Byron Brown maxed out with physical abilities. Teron Keith, 81 overall halfback. Sean Atkins looks like is their top receiver, 87 overall. Defense is okay. Should be an interesting and tight game. Without further ado, man, it's time to play the Bulls. Lock in, y'all. Let's get it. It's a beautiful evening in Boca Raton, y'all. It's a great night for some football. Let's get this dub. If you're new to the channel and you're enjoying the video, do your boy a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get it popping. Winners of six straight. Sounds good. Touchback, here he comes. 
Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Bulls' offense will start this game off. And here's the big... Go defense. You're right, David. He's been in the big moments, and he's won the big games. This guy delivers when the game is on the line. They believe in that running game. Got six before he stopped at the 23. We go with this, bro. Another no huddle team. Takes a handoff. Let's go. I'm shedding that. This opening drive. It's third and nine. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the middle. That throws. Great start. They're playing on the road on the first third down of this football game. Well, they need to get some more music in this game. Run it away and see if you can regroup because this environment is hostile. So Ford Atlantic offense will try to get something going with their first possession. Field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job. Of it. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective. Well. Establish the run game. the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense on. And after the run, trying play action, looking down the middle. That throw, that start, dang it. And on that third down play, there just wasn't any timing between the quarterback as an intended target. As a result, ball falls incomplete, setting up fourth. Was looking it's back onto the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. Tackle. No rhythm got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Hard-hitting tackle. <laughs> That's crazy. Third down. to pick it up on the ground let's go what a play what a play send out the punt unit this will be the second time they've had to kick it away and he's gonna get us time we saw this offense we had to look quick it was a three and out jesse he just had no rhythm in that last drive so someone's gonna have to step up and make a play Not much on first down it's second and nine to the air it's fancher right down the middle good catch let's get it they'll get the he knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked running a route where he would find himself open nice job between us pass the football a little bit more but sometimes you got to keep him honest take him chunk by chunk dialing up a second down pass play go Wide let's go <laughs> gives him a little shake and he's got some room Ripped off a he gets the first down before he step people miss showing you the speed now he set up his offense down in the red zone they'll run it it's mobile they bring him down and he's gonna be that will not go down as a productive first down play no it will not Reese. give this defensive line credit because they were able to get penetration right off go the johnson go johnson that completion gets them inside the 10 to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. They'll try to bully their way. Oh, come on. Really, bro? Defense was there to make the stop. And on fourth down, they'll try to salvage the drive. Get in there. All right, three's there, y'all. Gonna take the points. Hate not getting seven, though. Bring it out. It's Alexis. He stopped short of the this offense will return to the field. Last time, David, it was one, two, three kick. The last drive, that three and out. Sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you gotta get a drive together. Good job, Bradley. So you don't wear the defense out. I just think David too predictable that last drive. They gotta do something here to get this defense on their heels. Hand off from the gun. He's dropped off. Defense playing the lights out. Brown will throw it. Let's go. They'll tell you that somebody's always going 
to pop open, but it didn't happen in time before they got the sack. No, it did not. And you know what? I'm going to remember this. I'm going to remember zone defense. They didn't really have an answer. They weren't ready to get rid of the football. Great start defensively. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Looking for a block. It's Tucker. Returns like this, the Owls offense will go back to work. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get throw. with a great team. 24 yard line. The give to the single back. Run Johnson. They'll wrestle it. This offense has a second down play. He's looking to throw. Caught near the sticks. It's out of the goal line. They'll dial up the run on first and goal. Touchdown. Yes, sir. FAU Owls, baby. Taking this program to the top. Let's go. You know, this offense knew coming into the season, it was so important for this guy to stay healthy. They needed him week in, week out, because he plays at such a high level, and he's showing it here. That last carry was his 10th rushing touchdown of the season. Check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. UConn has the lead right now. Husky hysteria has been palpable all week. They are up by seven over Georgia State. Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business, gentlemen. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. The Bulls are in the hurry up. They'll put the tight end in motion. Quarterback on the keeper. Let's go. It may not look like a huge run, but they'll take it as it gets him up to the 20. A third down. A third down try for the offense. To the ground to try to move the chain. Great wrap up, baby. Our boys are hitting today. They ain't letting no one get past that line of scrimmage. This offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offense. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. The handoff to Johnson. Really? That defense physically meet the challenge. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Fires on the move. Good. Oh, come on, Moore. Got to catch that. FAU will send out the punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. They'll get ready to send the offense back onto the field. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field. Possession after possession, Jesse. This offense needs to get their heads out of there, you know what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They've got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. Wow, this offense is doing nothing. They've already punted four times and staring at the possibility of a fifth. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up on the ground here. He's Dang. got enough to move the chains, and they'll spot it at the 47. The Bulls will line it up on first and 10. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Hit this, dude. Pick that. Pick the ball off, bro. Going up against one of the best defenses in the country, you've got to look guys off, especially when you're trying to throw to your primary target like he was in that last one. And they'll wrestle him to the ground after a short game. And the Bulls in the hurry up. Brown wants to pass. Takes a hit as he fires. Good defense. Another punt. Let's go. The Bulls will line up to punt it away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. The heck was that? that the best punt I've ever seen. Instructional video. Bro, now what was that? Oh my God! A monster! Here's another opportunity, 
Jesse to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and the throw. Good throw. I mean, think about it. You can... From their own 23, it'll be first and 10. They'll give it to Johnson. A seven. Give it away and get these kind of gains. They will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. I miss or shake a tackle. Not able to get it done. Let's see what call they have on third and long from the 28. Throw. The quick pass. Good throw. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. You Let's keep it up. Moving Good score before half. That would be clutch. The gift to the back. The playmaker. And from the 38 yard line. Looking downfield, it's Fancher. Throws to the wide out. On target to the left. Alexander. Touchdown. Touchdown. Let's go, Owls. We coming, baby. USF who? They've got the lead and trying to put this one in a hammerlock here in week 10. Effective offense leading the way here and establishing this lead. And that's how you draw it up, right? You want to come out and be clicking early, get everything going. Way to get all the facets rolling. The defense right now on their heels. They have no answers. The offense doing whatever they want. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Fielded in the end zone. It's Alexis. Didn't find any offense will return to the field. Trailing now by 17, David. This is an opportunity that they need to answer. And down by 17, it's not... Oh, denied. Like, I know we just gave up some points and our defense hasn't played great. I think this offense can still be who they are and stay consistent. No doubt, lots of football to go, but you do get the feeling this is the time of game where... Let's you know, go, Christian. Halftime. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Running with power. And now... Got some time to maybe put some points on the board before halftime. Let's go. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Looking at real assault for the touchdown, Jesse. But it was a nice job in play calling, too, David. Just giving the quarterback some easy looks and reads so he could go out. The ball was coming out of his hands. The defense better do something different. That's caught. That's Johnson. Johnson. Get that bounce. He will. New set of downs after that completion. Trying to find his man on first down. Throws for the tight Good end. throw. Ooh. Got him downfield. Let's go. A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds and he has the first down man give him these big chunk plays through the air i gotta be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different waiting in the red zone here on second down Incomplete. thank god the decision the qb made there on that rpo knowing he wanted to get it out of his hands fast he just needs to make a more accurate throw moving forward Looking for the score. Down. Yes, sir. And he's got it. Touchdown. Let's get it, man. Who cares about double coverage? Just get in there. Give your guy a chance. And it worked out that time. And the receiver would definitely agree with you. It's a little bit risky. 24 to zip. Might be time for Heisman, guys. Let me know what y'all think. I think it's time. I think it's time. Turner will try and field this one. He was ordered ready to send the offense back onto the field. Now they're backed up here, Jesse. Wonder how aggressive they're willing to be. I think it's going to come down to how much confidence they're part of the field with this little time left. And I think that's conversations you've had with the young fellow on the sidelines being like, what are you comfortable with right here? That was a heck of a play. I thought he had it, but somehow it slithered through his fingers. Brown will throw it. He lets one fly deep. Defense. Out of time here in the first half, they're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. On third and long, he has to throw for it. The oh, sir, DBs are playing lights out. Third and long situations are really hard to convert. The defense knows it's going to be passed. The pass rushers are getting up field. You're under pressure. You don't have timing, and as a result, the quarterback just went into brain lock and lost track of the play clock. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. 
Unloads to the right. Halftime, guys. 24 to zip. We're doing our thing. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Gentlemen, looks like we've got a great atmosphere today in Boca Raton. And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power. This young man is the total package. And his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing game. And with that, let's send it back to the guys. And we get ball. Man, let's turn it up another notch then. Why don't we? On the run from inside his own five. Looking for a productive play on first down. He wants to throw. Bottle little time. Little Houdini. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. He turns that loose. What throw, baby? Side. We gone. Take it to the house. Let's get it. Come on, man. Let's go, y'all. Our boy, Mr. Mylon Tucker. M to the T. The offensive explosion we've been waiting on is finally here. It's making me want to put the game to Heisman, which we're probably going to do. A matchup in in-state school historically is better than us, and we're putting them to bed right now, y'all. Good for recruiting. Looking for space. It's key. Moves on their heels right now. Edison not doing that hurry up anymore. This guy, but he's got a head of steam, boy. He is hard to bring down. They'll go to the ground. That's what you expect on first down. It's second and seven. Oh, I was playing contain. A confident guys. They got to play with great eye discipline because they don't know who's going to be keeping the football in the run game. And that time, you saw the QB. He was able to kind of skirt his way. Good freaking play. Run. Let's they get it. Get it. This defense gives up nothing, and you'll like it. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. They'll get him the first play of the drive, snapping it from the 21. Leaves it with the running back. Got to be smart. That play works every time. Single back spread. Always harp about staying. Oh, one trap. And you are doing just that. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. Gonna take a shot. And it's the QBs that when they get hit and when they get hurried and when they get pressured, they become very average. Really nice job by the defense pressuring the quarterback. Go, Joan. Let's go, Johnson. Let's go, Johnson. Said Jones accidentally. My B. Motion from the offense. Receiver going for the edge on the jet sweep. Why is Jesse Palmer trying my play call? Second and twelve. To the air. It's Fancher. Coming after it. Feeling the heat as he lets it go. Oh, I picked it. Dang it. Kind of just threw it up there. So. And they capitalized not only on the pick. That sucks. Still up 31, though. Offense, tremendous field position. He has shown you why he's so versatile as a strong safety. This is a guy that we've seen come down to the box, support the run. He Went too far back. Space, but he's also really a great job with his eyes. He also shows you off the ball skills making that pick. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Got his man downfield. That is he finally able to make the stop. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. They'll go back to the ground. Oh, it's oh get the ball. Good hit. Drive continues after that fumble scare sent the offensive coordinator's blood pressure into orbit. Gonna run it. It's key. And, and he's able to can't complain though because defense has played exceptional. If you can get this many a chunk. 
they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. All kinds of room to throw. And they, they ran in front of him. are rolling down the field. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed... It's loose. Get the ball. Get the ball. What? How does that happen? Jump on it. Make sure you keep possession. The RPO tackle day day. Defense is backed up against the wall as they get set to snap it. Time winding down here in the quarter. Brown wants to pass. Unleashes to the end. Oh, good catch. Good catch. Touchdown balls. Can't be mad at that. That was a heck of a play. New catch animation. I haven't seen that one yet. Here he does a lot of blocking, and you play a lot of man coverage in the red zone. And what do you do? You peek in the backfield and you lose the big fella. I don't know how he lost that big of a guy, but he lost a reason. Kick it away Number after scoring the touchdown. Set to kick this one away. He'll start the return inside his five. There to make the tackle, and with that, we'll head to the fourth quarter. We've reached the end of the quarter. FAU has the Put the fours up, y'all. Take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. Made a QB change. No sense in risking it. Looking to move it through the air. Makes the grab. It's Johnson. He's there. Now catching the football and understanding where the first down marker was. I got to go get that first down. Did a nice job of it. I know. But again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him honor the run game. You got to do a lot. Oh, of come on. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Back to pass. It's Peters. Looking left. Got him. He makes a catch. Football. They've got a lead, they've got it late, and they are still putting it on this defense. They are still letting it fly. They're airing it out, trying to light it up. Another 100 yard day for Johnson. Who's been among the nation's playing great this season. All season long. They'll pick up. It's manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Got it in the middle. It's me. Hit stick with him, too. Third and short from the 28. Let's see if this is four down territory or if they just pick up the first here. And the Owls get it past. No, the he's hurt. Man this is why we got to take these guys out right here. I don't know. Does anyone know how to do mass subs? He's looking to throw it. They're trying to get to it. And he Let me know in the comments if you know how to do that. Play of the drive. Leaves it with the back. Good move. Good move. And he jukes oh, he's back. Thank goodness. Third down. Now one yard away from another first down on this drive. The run. To the ground. Trying to ice this game late. They got a really nice lead. So you just want to run the ball. High percentage throws. And keep the chains moving. And they're doing that. This We're in there. Get in there. And after the really good gain on first down, they'll try to finish it off. On Touchdown. Let's go. Total domination today, y'all. Hop on the FAU Owls train, guys. Stop with the Heisman poses, y'all. Jeez. Y'all on a six-game winning streak. Y'all ain't Georgia. Y'all ain't Bama. Y'all ain't LSU. Y'all ain't Texas. Come on, man. Total effort by the team today, though. He'll take the return and try to improve the field position. And the coverage to the field. Quarterback by himself in the backfield. Brown will throw it. They're bringing it up. Let's go. They get an uprush and it pays off the sack at the 20. Man, I've been there before as a quarterback. Sometimes you just wish the game would already be over, right? You've had no. They're staring at a second and long from their 20. He's looking to throw. He makes the connection. And the defense is outrunning. He's a guy that can line up all over the field, but it's not just catching post routes and goes. This guy can run shallows. He can run slants. He can run the option routes and find soft spots in the defense. And the Bulls will snap it on first and ten. 
And how about that third down? They go five wide. They'd spread the defense out. And at quarterback there, you're just trying to find your best one-on-one -on -one matchup. I see miracles in college football all of the time. And they could no miracle going to happen today, Reese. He'll come Two out minutes left, brother. Zings it complete to the right. will be second and just a few breaths away from the first down. He's looking to throw. He finds a soft Good hit to the red zone. First and ten from the twenty-one. He's gonna pass. Fires downfield. Good play. Take it Good in play. For the touchdown. It won't have much impact on the outcome of the game, but it is a fabulous parting gift, a consolation prize, if you will. Onside kick here. Cool Pick as up. a cucumber as the hands team makes a sure catch. Here by putting this game in a hammerlock, David. Yeah, this crowd's been jacked up. They've been excited. Now they get to breathe a little bit, Paul. We're a physical team all game long. So let's just run the ball. Let's just ice this football game. Take the W into the He'll take a shot. <laughs> and he's got it. Why not let it fly, baby? Let's go. Our boy Mylon Tucker. Put a little cherry on top. Right, late in the fourth quarter, you can run the football, run this game out. No, sir. I'm gonna continue to pad my stats, find my receiver out wide, and give me another. It's a wrap, guys. We come out victorious, 45 to 14. That's our seventh straight win. Gets us to seven one on the season, man. I'm hyped up. I think it's time to graduate. And, man, and move up to default Heisman. I'll probably put interceptions to 25 on each team. I think it's time to graduate, guys. I think it's time to take it to the next level. We got our feet wet with the game. We didn't play anyone good yet besides Michigan State, and we lost. So it's a perfect time to get to Heisman. We're 7-1. Got four games left in the regular season. See what happens. But really big win. Let's check out the stats. 45-14 is the final. We had 531 yards of offense. Definitely a season high. Compared to 215 for USF. Defense played exceptional today. Ran the ball well. 147 on the ground. 384 through the air. Only had one turnover. That was that lone interception. But we played awesome. Cameron Fancher, 15-21, 306 yards, three touchdowns, one pick. Nathan Peters came in, played great as well, 5 for 7, 71 yards and a touchdown. George Johnson, 17 for 134 yards and a score. Mobley added one as well. Receive him, man. A lot of uh, highlights today. BJ Alexander, seven receptions, 106 yards, one touchdown, but Mylon Tuck, three for 120, all three receptions for scores. That's what you call a bona fide playmaker. Defensively, Chris Wines, McCoy, Marlon Bradley and Chris Jones had a sack. Chris Jones had three tackles for loss as well. Jackson Ambush, two tackles for loss. Played great. Tisdall, two tackles for loss as well. As far as USF, Byron Brown pretty much shut him down. He did have a couple touchdown throws. Keith had 75 yards. No receivers popped off. No sacks allowed, which is great to see. And Stokes had a pick. That's about it, man. Let's get out of here. Mylon Tucker, American Offensive Player of the Week. So real quick, let's just do this. We're going to go to Heisman. I'm gonna put this down one second to 16 and we got the interceptions on 25 for both and i put the speed threshold down just three from 50 to 47. so next video y'all we're gonna be taking on the east carolina pirates it's gonna be a good game they're six and two three and one in conference play so it's gonna be a huge matchup definitely it's a game of the week in the american i believe so we're on a seven game win streak hopefully we can get that to eight we'll go through recruiting go around the country see what happened around the top 25 and then we'll play east carolina but listen if you are new to the channel man you enjoyed the video and you enjoy college football 25 dynasties do me a favor hit that subscribe button if you don't mind everyone watching please smash the like button helps out the channel greatly tell your friends about the channel Tell your family, tell your boys. I appreciate all the support, man. Appreciate every single one of you. I'm going to see y'all next time, man. We're on our way. Y'all have a blessed night. Peace.